there, Disney fans! Hi, Disney fans. How are you? My name is Seth, and I love Disney and anime and pins! Woo! Hello, Seth! What's going on? Well, today I'm going to be ranking all of the uh, Disney uh, attractions that I went on for the first time on my Walt Disney World trip. Woo! Wow! We did a lot of rides! We did a lot of rides. And I prioritized the rides that are specifically in Florida that you cannot ride in California. Okay. Here are the list of all uh, 22 new rides that I've read for the first time oh. in no particular order, alphabetical. Oh, okay. On that list, who do you think is number one? So there are 22 rides that I read for the first time. Uh, so I will be going a little bit fast on the lower tier here. All right, here we go. 22. Rock and roller coaster. Rock and roller coaster. Too wah, fast. Wah, wah. My head was banging on the like shoulder thing the whole time and it hurt my head. And that corkscrew just, I just hate, I hated it. It just screwed yeah. with you. Um, so you're like, corkscrew you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Navi River. Uh, it was just a little boat ride. There wasn't really anything to do. Uh, we just looked at a whole bunch of plants. And then there was the shaman at the end, which was cool. But like, it's really short. And eh, like, I wasn't going to spend 75 minutes in line for it. It's true. There's, there's not animatronics or anything other than the shaman, I think. And the rest of it was just decorations. Yeah. So just floating by stuff. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Toy Story Mania. I know a lot of people love this ride. I absolutely hated it. I could not get that stupid gun to work Aww. properly. Um, and I couldn't hit the targets. And I was so upset that my score was so low that it's just like, it's not fun for me. Oh, your score wasn't even that low. <laughs> Mission Space. Um, I, when the th capsule thing enclosed us, I got a little claustrophobic. Um, and it, the ride itself wasn't really worth it to me. So maybe going on orange might be worth it because we only went on green. Um, but I was claustrophobic and the, the, the amount of like movement that we did didn't feel like what we were doing because we were in a rocket ship. Ah, yes. Okay. I would agree with you. So I would try one. orange, but I just didn't like the enclosed space. True. I do and we, we were enclosed for a while before the ride started, so that was annoying. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the Finding Nemo ride. It was fine. I, I liked the theme. Um, I kind of wished that there was uh, animatronics on that ride. Mm. Um, there was a lot of like 3D screens um, that showed the pictures of the Nemo friends, but none of, there was no animatronics. Mm. And that's what I was missing because sure. a lot of like those little uh, movie rides, the dark rides that have like little movie scenes, they're all animatronics. Yeah. Journey into Imagination. Um, I didn't know who Figment was until I started YouTube. Um, so <laughs> I just don't have an attachment to Figment. And so <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, so like I went on the ride not really knowing what to expect and it just didn't really feel like, oh my gosh, I really love Figment now. Mm -hmm. It was just like, oh, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> It'll just be a Figment of my memory. <laughs> right. Carousel of Progress. My number is that one. That's 16. 16! Um, it's a great ride. I really love like the theming of the ride. I love the song, um, but it's just so long. 
It's 20 minutes. It's a 20 minute ride. It's a short film, really. Yeah. And I like that you get to sit down the whole time and like, you know, see the, the progression of, you know, stuff. But the chairs are a little bit uncomfortable because they're like tiny theater seats and you're sitting in them for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, Kilimanjaro Safari, which is pretty low on a list where people might think that this might be high. You get to see a lot of cool animals that you don't normally get to see, which is really cool. However, the Jeep that you get into, like, goes like this Ooh. the entire time. What? What? And I got so motion sickness. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh my god, get me off this ride right now because I'm so sick. Yes. It was like, ugh, ugh. G-M-O-T-R. And I was like, I love seeing these animals, but this ride makes me so nauseous. True. Very true. Uh, Rise of the Resistance. Ooh. Yes. Whoa. I can hear a collective gasp from the YouTube audience. So, it's... It's the first time I've been on it because at Disneyland, uh, the ride was broken for most of the day, so I couldn't ride on it. Um, and luckily we didn't have to wait very long. We had a lightning lane, um, but you have to go into a room uh, where they talk to you and then you have to go into a fighter jet plane and then you are in a room full of uh, starship uh, not Starship Troopers. Um, Storm Troopers. Storm Troopers. <laughs> Starship Troopers is a different movie. Um, and then you have to wait in another line to get put into colors. Like, the amount of time you're waiting to get on this ride doesn't feel, like, necessary. Mm. Um, but also, the things you do on this ride, like, the 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 ride vehicle is very magnetic and it, you go like this a lot. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know if you've ever been on it. <laughs> I no, mean, I most, of you, most of you have probably been on it <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but there are other rides that do this um, that are higher on my list. Oh, okay. Um, I'm also not part of the Star Wars fandom, so the theming just didn't hit home for me. Oh. Number 13, Living with the Land. Oh. <laughs> How high is this on your list, Andrew? I really liked it. <laughs> yeah. It was really cool to uh, learn all of the like new types of ways that they're trying to grow these plants um, and, and just like going through it and seeing it too. It was like really cool. <laughs> People Mover. So uh, the People Mover was in Disneyland um, and it closed. Um, and I would finally got to ride it at Disney World. And it's really fun. You just get to sit back and relax and just like look over the people in Tomorrowland. As they move. As, yeah. It's As the, we're moving. Yeah, it's the People Mover. So they're moving us through Tomorrowland and you get to see some like behind the scenes stuff that you don't normally get to see. Oh yeah. Um, so it's just a nice fun way to relax and there wasn't a line. Uh, we were able to walk on it. Mm -hmm. uh, test track. Um, so that is a really fun ride. Um, there was only one issue with our ride. Uh, actually there were two but the big issue with our ride was that we, when we went to go uh, create our car, um, our console just like wasn't working. It was glitching. It, it gave us like 0.5 seconds to make every decision and then it swept it us back to the main screen. And so we just like didn't, we weren't able to like create a car at all. We, we picked the model, we picked the color, and that was basically it. Mm -hmm. So we, we think we got screwed out of 
we felt like we got screwed out of like the making of the car experience but we yeah. didn't get screwed out of like the going on the ride experience mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um the other thing that was just a very minor thing was stacy and jeff's car didn't get on the ride with us when we tested it oh that's right they they uh, scanned their badge in to the ride um, but their car didn't show up when we tested the ride. Mm -hmm. So that was annoying as well. True. We didn't get the full proper experience. But the ride course. itself was really fun because you get to test out your car in like uh, bumpy conditions and windy conditions and then speedy conditions. Mm -hmm. So that was really fun. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, number 10, Slinky Dog Dash. Woo! It's a fun coaster. Um, and especially that part that goes like this, uh -huh. because you, it, it's exactly what a slinky dog is going to do. It's going to go like this. Whiny, 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 clink, 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 clink. Now, the main issue with Slinky Dog Dash is that it is a two-hour wait literally the entire day. Like, there's no ends around it. So, like, either like a do, it, do it first thing of the day or just get a lightning lane or just don't do it because <laughs> mm. <laughs> i'm not waiting two hours for that ride it's too short true it goes really fast but it was fun mm -hmm. number nine mickey and minnie runaway railway the theming of this ride is really cute it's mickey and minnie going on a little picnic with pluto uh and then they get on a train with goofy and then the train goes berserk <laughs> Right away, uh, right away. It's it's so fun, um, and it has like the magnetic thing I was talking about with Rise of the Resistance. So this does it way better in my opinion. Um, the thing that I would say uh, might not be so good is that if you're in a party of two, you have to sit next to people. I think I don't know because I'm not. I wasn't in a party of two. Mm -hmm. Um, but so that might ruin your experience if you have to sit next to a stranger. Yeah. Um, because the bench seats four. Yeah, I think that's right. So, um, we, we were a party of four, so we all just sat in the bench. Um, but if you are a party of two, or if you're a single rider, you do have to sit next to a stranger. Mm -hmm. Or let me know if that's different. Number eight. The Grand Fiesta Tour, the Woo! Three Caballeros ride in Mexico. Three Caballeros! So that ride is uh, really fun, actually. You get to see Jose and Panchito uh, a lot. Like, they're looking for Donald, and so you see, like, all these screens, and you have no idea where to look because you see Donald in one screen and then you see Jose and Panchito in a different screen and then you see Donald again and then you see Jose and Panchito. So like your eyes are just looking all over the place mm -hmm. and it's like really, really fun. It's very whimsical and charming, just like... And you're just in like a simple boat ride. So you're not, there's no thrills, there's no like zooming. It's just like, oh, this is a fun little Pirates of the Caribbean like boat ride. But then you're like, ooh, there's Donald, ooh, there's Jose, ooh, there's Panchito. Mm -hmm. Number seven, alien saucer swirls. Me and Stacy and Jeff were all thinking it was gonna be like teacups where it you spin really fast like this. Mm -hmm. But it ends up being like um, you go on a track and then when you get to the end of the track, the car you're in flings around. Mm -hmm. So it ends up being less of a spinny ride and more of like a fun, silly, flingy ride. And so it's like actually more fun than you think it is on the outside. And I just won't go on teacups because teacups make me dizzy, but mm -hmm. the alien saucer swirls was so much fun. Number six, Remy's Adventure uh, in the France Pavilion. Um, that It was so much fun. You get to sit in a little rat car um, and you get to like go in the kitchen and like see how everything is made and you get to like be little pint-sized rat people um, and you get to get swept away and like you're in 
it, it's really cool. <laughs> if you haven't been on it, I won't spoil much. Number five is Spaceship Earth. Woo! Spaceship Earth! Earth. You wouldn't think Earth. that this ride Earth. is top five material, but it is so fun. That's the one in the Epcot globe? It's the one in the Epcot ball, yeah. Uh, so it's like a little slow, uh, like, thing, and you just, like, go around learning the history of uh, the Earth. The Earth. Earth. Um, Earth. And then uh, you get to see, like, a little bit of the planetarium, um, and then you answer a few questions, and then it spits out your future, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it was really an enjoyable experience. It's true, I did like it a lot. Okay, so the last four, the top four, are all sort of thrilly roller coastery rides. So try to pick what my number one is. Ooh, I wonders. So number four is Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Oh, Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Yeah. Um, so we rid we rode that ride at nine thirty at night. <laughs> After the fireworks had happened, so there was this rush of people trying to leave the park as we were trying to enter. So <laughs> that was fun in itself. But um, we it was nighttime, so like we couldn't really see the um, the ending where uh, Snow White is like in the cottage dancing and the. Uh, the evil, evil queen is outside the door. Oh, I mean, heck. it's lit, but it's not in daylight where you could see it very well. Mm -hmm. um, but the fun thing about that ride, I don't know if you know this, is that your car vehicle rocks. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that's a little detail. Not a lot of people know Not that. a lot of people know that. Um, and... Jeff and Stacy like yelled at us from behind us. They're like, rock! Oh, and, they, and we, and yeah, we went like right. this. And yeah. we're like, oh my god, it rocks! <laughs> yeah, true. So that was, that was really fun. That rocked. Yeah. Number three is the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Ooh, number three! Woo! So, it is exactly like if uh, Space Mountain from Disneyland and Expedition Everest came together and had a baby. Ooh. That's exactly what this ride feels like. So I won't spoil much if you haven't ridden this ride yet because it was a virtual queue still, so um, um, you might not have ridden it yet. Mm. The way that it moved just felt so fun to me. Mm -hmm. The top two are both from Animal Kingdom. So number two is Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage! It, it is a really fun 3D experience. You are like in this um, like scooter. scooter thing. Like a motorcycle. Um, and you're riding around like this. Mm-hmm. Um, is to simulate you flying on the, the dragon things. On the banshee things, yeah. yes. Um, and you, the things you see and the things you, like, uh, like, everything around, like, all, all the sights, uh, some things got so close to you, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna hit this elephant, or it wasn't an elephant, but, like, yeah. I was, like, kicking it away because I was, like, thinking it was going to hit me. Yes, very immersive. And the ride vehicle breathes like this. Oh, yes. they little puffer bags by your And um, I, I just felt like that added so much to the experience. And so it was like, oh, it was so much fun. Oh, we just kiss. We, rid it, we rode it twice that day. Um, the second time was, you know, less enjoyable. Um, because I knew exactly what was going to happen, but it was still super fun yeah. because we were in a different spot. And so uh, we saw it from a different perspective. Um, like the first time we were like sort of dead center. And then the second time we were like way at the bottom. Mm. And so we saw 
like the 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 bioluminescence at the bottom really well and the stampede at I was like, that's when I kicked them because the stampede at the bottom was Dude. like so close to me. That was so cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. So my number one favorite ride that I rode for the first time is Expedition Everest. Woo! Expedition Everest! So we rode it twice that day. We rode, the first time we rode it in the first row and the second time we rode it in the last row. And I gotta say, the front row is where it's at. Oh yes, oh yes. So the front row, you get to see the splitting of the railroad at the beginning of the ride. And if you look to your left, right, uh, you see like Epcot and Hollywood Tower Hotel uh, out in the distance. So like, you not only get to see up close that railroad track, but you get to see out into Florida. Ooh. Um, so that part was really fun. The back was less enjoyable because uh, you can't see the railroad as much. And then when you go backwards, you're you're like flung a little bit more. So if you like the, the, the thrill of the ride, that's a better experience. But if you like the like theming of the ride, then the front is way, a way better experience. Mm -hmm. All right. What did you think of my ranking, uh, everybody? Um, let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite ride of the list that I uh, had? So if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe for more Disney anime and pin content. And I will see you on the flip side.